So I know a lot of my socialist viewers just love to make fun of John Delaney because he was booed and pretty much every single tweet that he puts out gets ratioed, but like it or not, John Delaney is starting to pick up some serious momentum. Now, I'll admit that when he first started out, things were a little bit rocky. You know, he'd only get a measly four, sometimes five people to his events. But with time, that number started to steadily grow. He recently attended a house party with seven people. Count them. Seven people. And at a recent event held in Iowa, he garnered one of his largest crowds yet of 11 people. Yes, that is double digits. So like it or not, John Delaney, his campaign presence is only increasing. And as Adam Gabbett of The Guardian writes, John Delaney has poured a staggering 24 million of his own money into running for president. He has been campaigning for the White House for more than two years and in that time has held more than 200 events in Iowa. On one recent Thursday morning, these efforts translated into a grand total of 11 people coming out to see Delaney at a campaign event in the small town of Algona in the north of the state. Delaney strode into Miller Sports Bar and Grill, one of the chain of bars across Iowa, just after 10 a.m. One of his team <laughs> had taped a couple of Delaney 2020 campaign posters to a wall in the back of the bar and a sign-up list was on a table. The crowd, all silver-haired apart from a 30-something man <laughs> who walked in late, were sitting patiently at four different tables. Clad in the off-duty politician's uniform of open-necked shirt, blue jeans, and casual brown shoes, Delaney got to work vigorously shaking 11 hands. <laughs> One member of the crowd was immediately impressed with the 56-year-old. You actually look even better than you do on TV, one woman said. Quote, I think I'm just going to stay around here, Delaney quipped. If Delaney was, <laughs> if Delaney was disappointed with the turnout, <laughs> he didn't show it. Besides, in a way, the 11-person crowd was a positive. The night before, on Delaney's Facebook page, just two people. <laughs> <laughs> Just two people said they would attend, and one was his campaign director. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm crying. So, I think after reading that, it's safe to say he is unstoppable. And that is not his largest crowd yet, believe it or not, because at one event, as you can see from this photograph, there were about 20 people in attendance, and that's probably the largest crowd yet. So, at the rate he's going, he's on track to attract crowds of about 25 or more potentially by December. The Delaney train isn't stopping anytime soon. By next year, November of 2020, I could actually imagine a scenario where 40 to 50 people show up. So, I mean... <laughs> Obviously, I am going out of my way to be facetious, and I'm kind of being a dick, admittedly, but I can't help it. Um, This is just sad. Look... If I chose to run for president, I'm not old enough, you know, to be president, but if I chose to run, I guarantee you that I would get bigger crowds than John Delaney. In fact, I would bet that I would quadruple the crowd size of John Delaney. Um, and this is a multimillionaire who has poured $24 million into his campaign. I mean, this is genuinely embarrassing. After learning that he poured that much money into self-financing, I actually understand now why he hasn't dropped out yet because he made an investment that isn't, you know, panning out too well, so he's going to remain committed to it, even if it's clearly going nowhere. But just the reports of, you know, these events, the pictures, I'm genuinely starting to enjoy seeing him run because it's like, <laughs> regardless of all the walls he keeps running into, he just keeps going. You know, this could be flipped around and turned into an inspirational story if he wasn't such a douchebag. But, um, you know, he is saying that he's going to be in this for the long haul. Like, after seeing John 
Hickenlooper and Jay Inslee drop out, he has reiterated that he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So, I mean, he's going to continue to um, plan out these events. You know, maybe next week he'll show up at a McDonald's and there's going to be like 15 people, not counting the customers that are already in the lobby. So we'll see. Um, I will continue to watch and um, let you know if there's any developments with regard to John Delaney's campaign. Certainly excited. I'm sure that that 11 people made his day. I'm such a dick. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous. And he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.